have to leave the past. You cannot move in the future. The pastor cannot build on you. Because you are right. like a leaky boat. That's right. If we don't fix you, eventually you won't sink. And you know what the thing is? Not only will you sink, but everybody in the boat with you going down. <laughs> I help somebody right there. You won't know why ministry is failed because of the leadership is failed. If the leader is leaking to help me somebody, then everybody around him is going. That's the reason why leaders got a tie. Because how can you give me what to do when you're not doing what you're supposed to do? While I'm in the vein, let me go ahead and say this. If you if you married, then you need to treat your spouse right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man. 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 I noticed it. Yeah, I'm glad they were saying he's talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> he talking about you, baby. <laughs> because if you mistreat your spouse, and they're watching you, Lena. You you sitting over here in your wife way back in the corner with dark sunglasses on. <laughs> we know what's going on. <laughs> and then you say, I'm the leader of the mission. I'm in charge of the brotherhood. Now you've got to act right at home before you can act right at church. Oh. Amen. That's it. This person is a person who has chosen eternal objectives for his or her life. They're looking past a little bit. Hello? And they, what they do is they take that pastor's vision and they, they expand. I told, I told, uh, I, I thank him for taking us to lunch. We was up on 49th floor, man. I was thinking, okay, what if they decide to drop a plane into this thing? <laughs> <laughs> but that leader takes the pastor's vision and expands it. Yeah, he makes it be, yeah. makes it blow up. <laughs> the pastor say he want to build a, I want to build a, a place that got 12 classrooms. The leader said, you know, I think we can get about 15, 16 in there, pastor. Come on, let's go together and pray about this thing. Because they expand. They take that vision and they expand it. They, they look for eternal blessings. Y'all with me? Yeah. Oh, you were like, yeah, here. Right. Now y'all look at me. I know why you're here because you didn't want to pass the bus that you're about to let me in. That's why you're here. They, 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 they yeah. love the word of God. They can't wait to hear the word of God. When I was growing up, I uh, from down in East Texas, Centerville, Texas, which is halfway between Dallas and Houston. And when we would go down there, uh, my grandmother's church they didn't have no piano, no drums, and all that stuff. They had wooden benches mm -hmm. and a wooden floor. Amen. When the deacons started devotion, we don't even do that no more. We got praise teams now. <laughs> Your deacon don't know what them two chairs on either side of the table were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They would get the same Walk guy down, down the knees. Like, let's get in the hair for y'all. They look on it. You know I don't miss devotion. Most leaders are late getting to church because they only want to get there when the preacher stands. So when he stands up, he sees you in church. But you ought to be here for devotion. Because most of you, that's the only devotion you get is on Sunday morning. Well, you, you got to love the word of God. You got to love to be with God people. It all expand. We would, my grandmother said, come on. And we didn't have cars. It was right down the street. We were going to walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were going to get there before them deacons started praying. Yeah. Amen. Sure was. Now they, they were y'all's half of it. He said, well, I prayed and I'm. <laughs> Pray that on. <laughs> I was over the choir director in, 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 in my home church. I was a choir director. And I started it with a prayer. I'd ask the members to pray. Asked this lady to pray. She said, Oh no, I already prayed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Well, go ahead and pray tonight. She said, No, well, no, I, I don't like to pray out loud. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what that told me though? That told me that she does not pray at all. So I don't care where you are, you ought to be filled with a prayer. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yes. I don't like to go when I say prayer. I'm going to pray for you. Pray now! <laughs> Yeah, say that the day, yeah. Serve everybody. Yeah. He doesn't heart? trust in his own flesh. Sometimes mm -hmm. what you think is not what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let me share this while I'm there. You you can't be a good leader dipping in folks' business. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Pastor Wilson. Somebody need to holler out right there. You are you have been assigned a particular responsibility. Your job is not to fix everybody. Yeah. I told you last night you need to get your own self fixed before you fix everybody else. Yeah. I have a hard enough time keeping me straight. But you don't need to be in everybody else's business. You ought to be everybody's servant, but nobody's fool. Y'all yeah, be a team player. Mm -hmm. Now I know y'all Oklahoma folks. You love. Oh, you. That right. That ain't my testimony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry. I, I'm Texas born and bred. That's right. And I'll be Texas when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but a team is no good if all the players are not on the team. That's right. When you are elected as a leader, you are part of a team. You have been bought with a price. So you're already on Jesus' team. So if you're on Jesus' team and the things we're talking about are about Christ, then you ought to be a team player. It should be nothing you won't do for your church and for the Lord. You are a team. How about your neighbor say, be a team player? Be part of the team. What would happen if, if, my, if my quarterback for the Cowboys decided he was going to be a defensive end? Hello? 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 What if the running back decided he didn't want to run through that hole? He, he wanted to throw the ball. All of a sudden, the, 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 the team breaks down. God has given us a playbook, hasn't he? Yes, he has. It's in Matthew 28. He gave you a play. That play has not changed. That play is eternal. Y'all know what it says, don't you? Yeah. Go ye therefore and do what? It didn't tell you to go ye therefore and sit on a bench. It said, go ye therefore and make disciples, baptizing them. And after, listen, now you have a play. You don't have to worry about it. They got to give you the players in the book. But that's why I said that every ministry ought to be bringing in some souls. I, I told my choir this year that I'm going to meet with them this Friday. And all the rest of the ministry that I've talked to, I said, uh, we, as a matter of fact, we cut out a bunch of business meetings. You know why? Because the business of the church is the same soul. Amen. And I, I went in there a few years ago and I said, okay, the end this meeting is now open. Uh, how many souls did you bring in mission? <laughs> Whoa. How many souls did I bring in brotherhood? Mm. Choir? My Lord. Ministers? Amen. And I said, okay, stay and let's pray. We dismissed My minister is right there. We dismissed it. We dismissed it because the business of the church is not money making. The business of the church, that's not the business. The business of the church is soul saving. Our responsibility as leaders is to bring in the sheep. That's what it says. How can I bring them in when I don't even get in? You first got to be saved yourself. I know what I know what the problem is. You look saved. You hallelujah. You coming out under. You can wave your hand. You got a tambourine. You got your little dance and all of that. But that don't mean a thing because there's nothing on the inside. And what's on the inside shows up on the outside. If you haven't been saved, you can't save nobody else. If you haven't first been brought in the house, how you going to bring somebody else? Our job is to bring them in. That's the playbook. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very 
simple play. God, they're running that same play a long time. Long time. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 28, if you haven't read it, you ought to mark it. Yeah. That's the play of the church. That is the playbook. Hello? Yeah. So he ought to be, you ought to be, he ought to be a team player. That leader ought to love all people. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. How many people? Oh. Oh. Not just the one that, that oh. were only in Cologne. I <laughs> God, <laughs> 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 good to see you. <laughs> not, just, not just the ones who wear the nice suits and, and all, but God love them that don't have no deal. Well, right. them that ain't quite learned how to put the cap on the bottom yet. I, I, I see you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Because a man used to show up at our church all the time. Come in, he'd be drunk. Drinking anyway. Mm -hmm. He would mm -hmm. sing a song, a little church on top of the head. Mm -hmm. The really deacons got to where when he would come in, they go get him. Take him back out. Amen. Man. I, at that time, I was a deacon. They said, bro, why don't you go back there and get him? I said, man, I'm not messing with that man. <laughs> You're not hurting anything. You just sit back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we don't want that in our church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't try to act like you ain't saying that. You, mm -hmm. If they don't look like you, you don't think they ought to be in church. But then I tell, can I tell you that that's who God wants in his church? Right. <laughs> what I call an empty chair. It's for the person that don't go to your church. Some of the people won't come in the church because they got too many self-righteous folk in the church. You act like you ain't never messed up in your life. Right, right. Anybody in here ever messed up and did something you know was wrong? Amen. Ain't you glad that God still loves you enough Amen. to bring you back in? Amen. As a leader, you got to reach out and get that nobody else wants. That man sitting on the corner with a bottle, go sit by him. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, I know. That's, that's you, baby. When I leave, you going to say, I don't care what you say, I ain't going to. <laughs> <laughs> but a leader loves everybody. Yeah, yeah. Don't matter what they look like. I didn't look at them 